Welcome back to another MLB recap video where I'm going over the best of Wednesday's action. Shohei Otani is going to be hitting his first homer at Dodger Stadium, and it did not disappoint. It's a packed house on a Wednesday night, and he absolutely clobbered this ball 430 feet. He pulls it in a lefty-lefty matchup. Shohei could go on a run and get super hot now, as, oh yeah, the Dodgers just win another game. This was a pitching matchup between Cole Reagans, who shoved, and Corbin Burns, but it's going to end with James McCann hitting the two-run single for a walk-off. That's going to be the second Orioles walk-off in this series as they take two of three, both in walk-off fashion from Kansas City. Corey Seager is looking to return to that playoff form as he's going to be getting on the board with a homer against Aaron Savali, who had a very good start, but Nathan Neovaldi, there's no World Series hangover for him as he dealt today. The Marlins are 0-7 as the Angels come in and get a sweep. It's an 0-7 homestand, and according to Ken Rosenthal, and other people at The Athletic, they could be looking to sell sooner than others expect. They have a new GM in Peter Bendix who is from the Rays, so he's used to making a lot of these trades and operating under salary constraints. So Ken Rosenthal mentioned Luis Arise and Jesus Lazardo as the guys that could get the most value and also the most likely to be traded, but the Marlins also could look to move anyone earning significant dollars. He mentioned Josh Bell, Abisael Garcia, and maybe even Jazz Chisholm Jr. Sam Andy Alcantara. There was also mentioned that there's reported interest in Luis Arise and Jesus Lazardo dealing with the San Diego Padres as they made an offer for Arise this offseason. And then we also heard a bunch of Lazardo trade buzz this offseason, so we'll see if anything amounts after an 0 7 start and a ton of guys on the injured list. Might be a down year for Miami. The Twins went down 3 1 to the undefeated Brewers, and then they put up five runs in the seventh inning. Ryan Jeffers hit a go ahead three run homer. He had a four. RBI day. Alex Kirilov had a four hit day and the Twins split the border battle. The Red Sox sweep the A's. They win 1-0 but in the first two seasons or first two series of this season the Red Sox pitching has been absolutely incredible. Nick Pavetta just turning in another dominant start in this one. The Yankees they're going to go and they're going to win another series. Even though they've won a bunch of these games you haven't heard much about Aaron Judge but that changes today as he hits his first homer of the year and then in the top of the 11th when the Diamondbacks forced extra innings and then 11 innings. It's going to be Judge with a double to get that all-important second run in extra innings so the Yankees win the series. They're 6-1 and one on the season. The Guardians got eight runs scored off George Kirby in three and two-thirds innings pitch. Not a team known for their offense, but George Kirby coming out of a dominant performance to start the season. He gets shelled in this game against Cleveland. The Phillies are going to drop a series to the Cincinnati Reds, and the Reds are just a team that's finding the way. Christian Encarnacion Strand, Ellie De La Cruz today. It was Spencer Steer the first game of this series. They have so much young talent, so it can be different guys stepping up on different nights. Also, their pitchers are giving them good performances. Frankie Montas headlining that. Joe Musgrove put together a very good outing today as the Padres are going to salvage this series against the Cardinals after a couple close losses to start things out. And post game, Joe Musgrove had an interesting quote. He said, having a closer that you can go out and rely on for more than just three outs is huge for us. He also mentioned that he's willing to pitch any day. He's talking about Robert Suarez, who got a two-inning save today. And what he's referring to is Josh Hader refused to pitch more than three outs because he wanted to protect his arm, especially ahead of free agency this last year. And it could have rubbed some people in the Padres clubhouse the wrong way, especially Musgrove when he puts in a great outing. But now he could send some shade at Hader, but then appreciate his new closer, Robert Suarez. Jordan, he was due for a homer, and when he hits them, they come in bunches. As he hit two homers today, as the Astros could be getting back on track, their offense has been looking a lot better as they win this series against the Blue Jays. The Cubs are going to bring out the brooms, and Seiya Suzuki is a guy that I have circled to have a breakout year this year. That's another homer for him. He had a three-hit game. Seiya Suzuki is really finding his groove in Major League Baseball. Subscribe if you like these videos. That's the best going on with today's MLB slate.